Underworld out, Preston on this half, Brianna on this half, and even crazier, they are here. I, well, the, the paper versions of Preston and Brianna are here. Oh, oh they, <laughs> here they come. Lightning. Lightning. Hey, what's up? Hi. What up, beautiful people? Are you guys ready? This is gonna be absolutely crazy. It's going to be insane. We have the power of lightning on our side. Okay, Preston, you're up first. Lightning. Oh yeah? I'm a little scared I'm gonna mess this up. I've never been good at art in my entire life. Oh no, don't worry, I got you. I, I'm, I'm drawing this for you. Actually, is there anything I should know before I start drawing? I don't know if people have noticed this in my videos, but I always feel like one of my eyes is lower than my other one. Oh, I'm just drawing half your face, so. I mean, that, that doesn't really matter. I'm just saying, I definitely, I don't have like symmetrical eyes. Okay, well, I'll just draw your, your good eye. Yeah, how about that? Here we go, we are drawing. So actually, the entire drawing will be four pieces of paper put together to form a picture, which will make it very difficult to do, but I'm up for the challenge. He's actually going insanely fast. So this means that these drawings need to fit together perfectly. So I'm drawing out Preston's hair, his eye, nose. Uh, his hair is like very thick and very tall. It needs to look good, so it's a top priority right here. I don't know if I'll ever get past drawing a stick figure, but that's okay. Now, let's fix up these lines, hi uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, looking good. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's ink this in, yeah. Oh, there we go. And let's do the first layer of color. This is my favorite part because this is what really brings the drawing to life. And then now he's coloring it in a little bit. You see, it's all about color layers working together. And it's usually a blend of colors, like for the skin and for the hair. Now, I'm just about done with the first layer. So let's jump ahead and see what this looks like after four layers of color color. Boom! Oh yeah, that's looking a lot better. Oh, and he keeps adding more detail. Now, let's see what this looks like after 10 layers. Ah, yeah! Oh, what the, oh, this is this perfect. Oh, oh, yes! This really stands out. Oh my, okay. I right, wait, let, let's show this to Preston and Bree. That was so fast. I mean, this is actually a very phenomenal drawing. He looks like this right now. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, he, uh, that's what I'm going for. By the way, I had like sandy blonde hair as a kid. Look at my hair now. It's like, yeah. it's way more dark and like brown. Uh, well, I, I, I could make it darker, but I, I don't know about that yet. Look at it. Actually, your hair is pretty voluminous. And now look at it. Uh. <laughs> I thought you were pointing out how large your head was. Thanks, babe. I also have a big head. Oh, just wait till it's done. It's gonna be way bigger than, than you guys are thinking right now. But well, look at these eyes, man. Like these are champion eyes. Yeah, you have really pretty eyes. Okay, Bree, it's it's your turn. Oh, good. I, oh, it's um, is there anything I should know about uh, before I start? Preston has always been so tan, and I'm jealous. Here I am, super pale. <laughs> He's always had this pretty tan. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a, a tan. Oh, is, is there anything else? Like, I have to use like sprays to try to make my hair look shiny. Uh, okay, yeah, I gotcha. I, I'll see what I can do about that. Okay, now for Brianna. We need to sketch out her hair and her eye, similar to what we did with Preston. Uh, getting the right placement can be a little tricky, so uh, hopefully I'm doing this right. Wow, my head looks very large. As you can probably guess, once I have all four drawings placed together, uh, this is gonna be pretty big. Uh, definitely one of my biggest drawings. If you wanna add in my Royally B logo. Oh yeah, the, the Royally B logo. We, we can put it up here. I think it kinda looks like this, the, the letter B with this like colorful dripping paint behind Behind it. Oh, and it has this like crown on top. Okay, let's touch up these lines. Hi, uh, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. They are drawing perfectly. And let's ink this in. Hi, uh, yeah. And oh, looking good. Now, for coloring this in, this logo got these like blended colors, like a gradient going on. It's a little bit tricky to do, but I, I think I can do it. Ooh, I like what I'm seeing. Now, we need her blue eyes, and we'll have to work on some of that eyeliner. For, for really blonde hair, you actually don't want to go too yellow. Instead, you want to keep it a very light yellow. How is he going to make it shiny? That's what I need to know. A lot of the color comes in with the contrast of the skin tone. We're just about done with the first layer. Now, let's see what it looks like after four layers of color. Hi-yah! Oh, this is looking a lot better. Yeah, that looks legit. Okay, let's jump ahead and see what it looks like after 10 layers of color. And, ah, bam! 
And oh yeah, look at this. Oh, How did you do that? Oh, oh, the eye really turned out well. The gradient turned out pretty good too. I, let's see what Brie and Preston think of this. This is awesome. You got the coloring and the texture. Lightning. Oh yeah? How do you get like the color white to actually did uh, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the it's best to leave the the whitest parts untouched. Uh, sometimes they use like a little bit of a white paint, and that can help bring out the the whitest parts. I don't know how people do this. I, I I got a question for the artists. Are you born this good, or do you have to practice a tremendous amount? Oh yeah, some people probably are like born with it. Is that how you got so good at drawing? Uh, for me, it's just practice. You need you need a you need to practice. That that definitely helps. Your eyes. I feel like they've changed. My like, eyes have Yeah, they're way like more blue now. It is really pretty. Well, well, Preston, your eyes are like, like eyes of determination. And Brianna's eyes are like, um, I... Uh, like success eyes. Like success. eye of the tiger right success here. Success eyes, are they a thing? Oh, here he goes. Okay, we got Preston's lower half. Somehow this is gonna have to connect with the upper half. And if I don't do it quite right, then it's gonna look a little weird, so. I wish I could draw things like this. I feel like it's one of the coolest ways that you can draw things. We got the ear, nose, mouth. We gave him a laughing smile. Fire merch. Oh, that's right. We need to do the legendary Preston Flame logo. Uh, let's put it right here on his shoulder. Of course, this logo has taken on many forms, including the pizza and the ice cream versions. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, oh, this might be a little off. Uh, okay, let's fix this up with some Windex. Ah, yeah. And, oh, there we go. I'm feeling this one, guys. I think this one's gonna be our best yet. Now, let's drop some ink onto this. And, yeah. Yellow, orange, and finally red. Oh, that's right. We need yellow, orange, and red. And this is where we start to layer things up. Uh, just like Preston's 100 layer challenges. Or, well, not really, but, uh, oh, imagine that. What if we did one? 100 layers of a color onto a drawing. Oh, that that would probably look pretty realistic, but I don't know if I have that type of artistic skill level yet. Anyways, let's fill in the rest of the shirt to complete the first layer. I'm inspired now. You know the art is good when you feel inspired. Now let's see what it looks like after I do four layers. Yeah, and uh, oh wow, that's already looking really good. Oh, this one's so sick. Uh, okay, okay, let, let's see what it looks like after 10 layers. Here we go. Yeah, oh, perfect. That might be the most realistic one we've seen. Oh, the skin tone looks really good. Uh, he looks pretty happy too. Uh, let's show this to Preston and Bree. No way, you could give me three days, all the pencils in the world, and I still couldn't recreate that. Well, Preston, I'm telling you, if you had like three days to work on an art project, you could probably come up with something pretty crazy. I just want to point out how cute your little mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. seriously your smile, though. Yeah, dude, okay, guys, you That think. looks like you. Oh, hey, well, th that's what I was hoping you would say. So. Oh, I, my oh, wait, um, goodness. What do you think of the nose? There's some <laughs> big nostrils right there. Don't be touching my <laughs> nose, woman. Oh yeah, Hold look on. at this. Look Hold. at my, I got like one missed nostril. Nah. <laughs> wait, wait, this is the last one I've got, I think. Yeah. What part of the body is this? Okay, we need to draw out the bottom half of Brianna. We're getting pretty close to putting all these drawings together. So we need the rest of her hair, nose, and mouth. We're gonna give her this like uh, happy, surprised expression. Oh my gosh. And uh, you know what? I should call this Extreme Drawing Challenge YouTuber Couple Edition. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Yeah, well, anyways, I, I can do a lot better on this hair. Uh, let's go ahead and touch this up with some Windex. Yeah, magic of Windex, here we go. Ah, yeah. And uh, oh, these lines are looking a lot better. Beautiful, magical. A lot more detail in the hair. Okay, uh, let's ink this in. Yeah. Oh, we got it going. And for the coloring, we need to fill in the first layer. I'm gonna try to keep the coloring consistent with the upper half. Yeah, guys, this, this ain't no one color challenge. This ain't even a three marker challenge. This is a, uh, uh, well, this is a many color challenge. And we need to make this pop. Um, yes, please. Now, let's see what it looks like after four layers. Ah, yeah, oh my, it, it already looking this good. Yeah. Get that contour. Okay, we lighting this up to 10 layers. Are you ready for this? Kabam, oh my. What? That was amazing. Artist. Look at that. This really stands out. The, the skin, the hair, it's right on point. Uh, well, let's go ahead and show this to Bria Preston. 
Oh, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is where it's at. This one's kind of scary. <gasps> Hey, he's just messing with you. Hey, it looks great. He, he's just jealous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is beautiful. What is this? My tongue. Okay, I had a, t a ton of my permanent teeth removed because my mouth was too small for all my teeth. Oh, yeah, that's, that's similar to me. Like, I, I also had like a lot of teeth pulled. Okay, well, here's the real question for all you viewers right now. Can you touch? Your nose with your tongue because I can. You want to try this? Uh, uh, <laughs> you got this. You got this. No, <laughs> not even close. Okay, we've got all four parts. Let's do Brie first. Oh, come on. Come on. Please let this line up. Uh, no way. Uh, well, it's a match. Look at that. Preston, you have to line up. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, what? Oh, my. Uh, they actually align like really, really well. Okay, let's put them together. Here we go. And, uh, uh, oh my. It, 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 it actually works. The fact that it's split in half makes it really strange, but it's also like really awesome at the same time. I, it's an artistic style. Whoa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> this is amazing! Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of like a blend of both of you. The shadows on that. That's amazing artistic ability. I like how your blonde hair has stayed pretty much the exact same color. Yeah. Except for now, obviously you have highlights in it. This is Preston now. I need this framed in my house. Uh, Brie, I'm so glad you mentioned that because I, I got something. I made a mini version. Uh, hopefully this will do. Oh, you I got, got it. it! This looks sick! Oh my gosh. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.